Hello everyone, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk and today I want to talk about blue screen of death or the actual stop error codes that you get when you see this blue screen in front of you. Now these mean a couple of different things, it's either a hardware fault that you've got or it's a driver issue or software related issue that you've got with the operating system or a bit of a buggy program that's kicking up this. It may be something you've just installed or it may be just a, a little leak from a, a buggy program that's kicking up this with a rogue driver and it's kicking up this error message. So as you can see, this one, we're not going to actually diagnose this actual error message itself. I'm just going to show you what they are, these blue screens. Now you may not even see this blue screen nowadays because obviously Microsoft has very sneakily put an automatically restart in their um, operating system now and basically I'm going to show you where to turn it off so you can actually see these blue screens so all you need to do is right click on my computer go properties advanced where it says start up and recovery down at the bottom here where it says de debugging information click settings and take the tick out of this automatically restart and then it will show you what the blue screen is without restarting the computer because obviously you want to see what it's saying so you can write it down and tell a technical support engineer or an engineer that's coming to look at it or maybe you want to look at it yourself okay and this will also create a dump file so you can actually read the dump file now these reside in the windows directory inside C windows and they are in here but it's in one of these little folders called mini dump but I haven't got any so what I'm going to do is read some old ones that I've picked up along the way just to show you basically what they look like now how are you going to actually read these dump files? Well, you can't look at them in Notepad because it won't allow you to because they're encrypted and you need symbols to read them. So basically, you're going to need a program called WinDBG or Windows Debug. It's, it's just short. WinDB, WinDBG is the actual program. You can get it from Microsoft website. So basically, you open this up. And then to set it up, all you need to do is go to symbol file path and you need to put in there this command. Now I'm going to post this up in Notepad so you can actually see it. This is the command you need to stick in there. And it actually, years ago, you start to download all these symbols and it was a right pain in the ass. But now you just actually just put this and it just comes off the server and you ain't going to worry about it. And that's handy because if you're going from place to place, different computers at a time, you can actually you don't have to download all the symbols all the time. Okay, so that's the command you need to put in there. Symbol search path. Okay, now we're going to have a little look at the dump file itself. So go file and actually open up the crash dump file. Now we're going to have a look at this first one and see what that is. I'm just going to open it up and there you go and click analyze. So they analyze and, and it's going to now give us some information what's in dump file, what's caused the, cr the crash of that particular PC. Now I don't know what this says but we'll have a little look here. And basically there's the actual blue screen of death error page that you're going to see. It'll be right across the top like this where you see page four underscore you know in non-page underscore area you will see that Okay, not less or equal, you'll just see that right across the top. So now we need to have a little look and see whether we can see anything. But it's saying driver fault, and there you go, process name. And let's have a little, right, now we can actually type this in Google to see what it is, because obviously, or we can look up the customer's PC or the PC to see what programs are on there and get an idea what program that is on the PC. So now we're going to have a look in quick Google. So I haven't got that program on my PC, I'm pretty sure of it. Let's see what it is. And actually, let's have a look there. And it's caused by McAfee. What a surprise. So basically, um, as you can see it here, it's the update. You can see up upd.exe. It's to do with the Mac, uh, McAfee part. So if I was getting that, I'd either update the McAfee software or uninstall it and use something else 
if you, if you've already got the late very latest and it's causing a problem maybe it's you need to update windows to see if that fixes it but i mean over a bit of software like that i wouldn't bother going to that much trouble or just put use another virus scanner so that's what that problem is it's causing this uh blue screen of death uh, say on the uh, image name memory corruption so let's have a little look at some other ones we've got so let's just uh, we'll just close that off open up another crash dump file let's open this let's click on analyze and it will analyze that and now we can see what's going on now what would that say so this would come up with um, you can see a lot of blurb coming up here don't get too frightened with it you know there's plenty of help in the help file there if you don't understand if you look at the contents there's a ton of stuff in here how to set it up and what to do you know debugging what it means and stuff there's tons of help in there just go through it and you you know you're not trying to be a complete com coder and understand all this and you don't need to understand all of it all you want is an inkling of what's going on to try and sort out your problem and we can see this common system fault process name system okay let's have a little look anything else here we go what's this module name this okay so it's this file image name this is what's causing the problem so control C to copy that I'm gonna have a little look in Google and see what that means this is all you have to do really um, it's just have a look get the actual name of the file that's causing the uh, error message oh I think I've just crashed me uh, machine or the program Don't know what's happened there okay so let's just uh, go back in there bloody Windows Explorer part of the shit that is right okay so I'm crash so what we need to do is just get a copy of that file there you can type it out if you want I'm just lazy just can't be bothered so let's try it in a uh, Firefox there we go so let's have a little look in here and see what it says basically that error message is caused by the modem soft 56k modem I can remember these bloody hell and they used to be a bug pain in the ass then so basically that was what's causing that it's an old memory dump file it may be that's why so maybe someone's tried to install it on Vista or something and it's caused that problem or maybe whatever it may be but you don't need to know if it was your PC and you was getting the information you'd know what's going on so now you know it's that program it's a 56k modem what are they Fiverr buy a new one update it's a software uh, modem I think as well so you can either uninstall it and put a, a hardware one in or try and get the drivers for it new drivers so there you go that's understanding blue screen of deaths and how to diagnose them roughly now once you know that you're halfway there they are a pain they do happen quite a bit on some of the older computers and uh, let's just have a little one more look at the last one I've got three there I suppose I could have a look at that last one just give you one more little look see what's what it won't take me long okay so I can see this cup picking up what's going on a little look driver fault process name or AOL there you go another one I don't think that needs searching it's definitely something to do with AOL so let's just click that in there and as you can see I can see there there's the program and I can see it's something to do with AOL because look there's the program what is it I can see AOL service libraries don't even have to go in there so basically that's how you diagnose a dump file or look at a dump file and get roughly what's going on with the error message now also you've got the event viewer which I'll cover in another tutorial which is very handy for technicians as well um, you go into actually the computer management side of things sorry no you don't it's here and it's inside uh, 
inside of here and you can actually look at the application or the system and find out what's going on what's causing these error messages okay and that's all you have to do we'll go to that in another tutorial so that's how you read memory dump files my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope this helps you out and makes you understand what blue screens are and how to read the dump files and get to diagnose your own problems okay please leave your comments Bye for now.